I uh, have a great honor tonight to be able to introduce someone that's really special to me. Uh, it's my honor to present Julius Caesar Watts, Jr. I think from Yarfala, Oklahoma, and I don't think there's anyone in there knows him longer than I have other than his immediate family and people from maybe Yarfala. I, uh, I know that this, in the years that I've been with him, and I've found out since that he's a man of God. He's not only an athlete, but he's a minister, ordained minister, and uh, he's a politician. He went off the deep end. That's, I guess that's his purgatory. <laughs> but, but what a transition. But think about this. I say I've known him a long time. It's 1974 is the first time I saw J.C. Watts. Think about that. 1974, I happened to be in Ufala, Oklahoma, honoring one of the Selman brothers, Lucius Selman. We were having Selman Day there. Before long, we'll have a statue on our campus of the three Selman brothers together. And I was there to honor Lucius, and we were up at the high school. If you've ever been up and you follow, you're up on the side of a hill, and you're looking to the west, I think, and, uh, and uh, hell, I can't remember, east. We, I know we have to go north to get back down Main Street. So, so we, I got on the back of a flatbed trailer, a couple of bales of hay, and a couple of dignitaries, Clay. And I get up there, sitting up there, and I get on it, and I'm here. I'm going to honor Lucius. Damn right I'm going to be there. We start down the, the John Deere trailer, pull, tractor pulling us down the side of the hill, and we're going down the hill, Main Street, and Lucius is up there in the convertible, sitting up on the back end of a convertible with the feet up. But, you know, obviously the convertible top's down. He's sitting there. And we're going down the street, and we got to the bottom of the hill, and the crowd is on both sides, you know, a couple hundred people, and you follow, I guess, and they were all on both sides of the street. And J.C., uh, uh, Lucius turns around, points back at me and says, Coach, says, see that guy over with the big afro standing over in front of the pool hall? And I said, look, yeah, I see him. He says, he yells back, he's going to play quarterback for you someday. And I said, really? I said, what's his name? He says, J.C. What does the J.C. stand for? Julius Caesar. Oh, okay. So as we got alongside him, I pointed to J.C. and I said, you're going to play quarterback for me someday. Oh, yeah, a big smile on his face like he always had. And we go on past him. Two years later, I was back in Ufala, Oklahoma, recruiting J.C. Watts in 1976 to be a freshman at the University of Oklahoma. He was the number one player in the state. He came to Oklahoma. Like a lot of freshmen, expect to play right away. It doesn't happen. He quit twice, but I was smart enough to go back. I, I met him when he got home. I was already there. I beat him. <laughs> and, and, and with his daddy, buddy, we got him back, back, back in a hurry. He redshirted that year, like a lot of them don't want to, but it's the best thing that could happen to him. And he was a backup to Thomas Slott for 77 and 78. We won the, the championship both years, Big 8 Conference Championships. We won seven in a row. In 1979, now it became J.C.'s turn. He's our starting quarterback in 1979. In 1978, his junior and senior year. J.C. Watts never lost a Big 8 Conference game in those two years. We won our eighth and a ninth championship, Big 8 Conference Championship. In his first year as a junior, we played undefeated Nebraska at home. They were number four in the country. They were 10 and 0. We were 9 and 1. And uh, uh, we beat them 17 to 14. Got the right to go play undefeated Florida State in the Orange Bowl. He had a pretty good supporting cast. JC was damn good, but he had a supporting cast. Billy Sims, Stanley Wilson, uh, David Overstreet all played in the NFL. We all know who they are, great backs. Well, we went down and played Florida State. Florida State's uh, undefeated, number two in the nation, and they hadn't been given up, given up about 67 yards a game, about like, like Nebraska had. And we brought down there and put 400 on them, and we won the game 24 to 7. So we end up number two, at, number three in the country, 11 and 1, and we come back next year in 1980, and uh, we lose a couple of games. But uh, we still have a great year. Ended up a great year playing Nebraska again at Nebraska, 12-point underdog, and J.C. wins the game. We win it up there, and we get to go play Florida State again. And we win that in an exciting game, 18-17. to 17. And for his performance in both games, J.C. Watts, both Orange Bowls, and why he's in the Orange Bowl Hall of Fame, he's voted most valuable player two years in a row. No one's ever done that in an Orange Bowl. Now, J.C.'s college career is over. He's had a great year, great run. He's won, we've won nine consecutive Big 8 conference championships. And now he has an opportunity to play fo pro football, drafted by the Jets. Didn't think he fits it. If they ran the systems they run today, he would fit perfectly in it. He had good speed, 4-5, four, 4-5-5 five, four, five, five speed. 
great velocity, great strong arm. He would play today in that type of system easily. But it's a traditional system back in the 70s, drop back passer, you know, all that crap they do today, old days. <laughs> but not like what they do today. He would fit it perfectly. He decided to go to Canada where they did do what he is good at. So he goes to Canada, and not only is he in Canada his rookie year, but he takes Ottawa to the Grey Cup, which is a Super Bowl in Canada, and he wins the ball game, and he's voted most valuable player there. So that's three years in a row. When you think this is Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame, he's already in that. I know it sounds like we're talking about this as Sports Hall of Fame accomplishments, but this is what he did. This is what JC was as an athlete. He played six years in Canadian ball. He decided to come back to Oklahoma, and this is where he goes into the clergy. He's, in, he's at a youth minister at, at Sunny Lane Baptist Church in Dell City. He was there for eight years, became an ordained minister, uh, and all of a sudden he gets into business, and because of business and the regulations that he faces from the government and all, he then wants to do something about it, so he steps into politics, and he runs for Oklahoma Corporation Commission for a seat that was open. He wins it in a close race, and he, he says that that was the reason why he did it. But I think you know, J.C., knowing him all along, he always had that in his blood because he's always been a leader and always thought, this is what I need to do, and you get out and, and help serve his community and his state. He uh, then ran for fourth district in Congress and beat, uh, I think, Dave McCurdy's seat. It was gone. It was an open seat. He wins that four years in a row. He's eight years in the legislature, uh, Congress as a Republican. He gets the fourth highest ranking position in Congress when he was in Congress. And uh, he comes dissatisfied. You got to ask him why. But he told me some of the reasons why, my, many of them. He just didn't like what was going on up there and didn't like how things work in Washington. And I think we all have a pretty good understanding of what that's all about. So, but, but anyway, it's, he uh, decides that uh, to give that up. Well, anyway, he's uh, back here in Oklahoma, he's consulting business, in business, and uh, for himself, and J.C. Watts Companies Consulting, and now he is going to launch something for us the next year, in January, that he will be running a business that will be television, BNC, which is Black News Network. A guy named Shad uh, uh, Khan, who is the owner of the Jacksonville Ch Jaguars, he's a billionaire and he owns an automobile companies and service companies, and uh, uh, he and JC have gotten together. JC will be CEO and president of that uh, channel, and uh, it's going to be interesting for all of us to watch. So I've talked to him about it, what's the bent, what's the lean, he says it's going to be what it is. And uh, JC's a conservative, and what color is this conservative? And I like the book that he wrote. So what color is he? We don't know. It's whatever you want it to be, right? And whatever he is. So you don't paint anyone a certain way. JC says we'll have both sides, and we'll be fair, and we won't cover uh, politics the way it should be covered. And I said, show me, and that's what you're going to have to do. And that's what we're all going to get to see. So I love his challenge. I love what uh, he represents. He's a wonderful man. He's a great preacher. He's a great speaker, and you're going to find that out right now.